Hi, this is Danny Joe Lewis, also known as Enzyme Black, and I'm a course developer and tutor here at Point Blank Online. Now in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate some really, really cool techniques contained within Contact. Now Contact is an immensely powerful sampler from Native Instruments. It's got tons and tons of features, and one of the great things about it is a thing called scripts. We're gonna take a look at these, and we're gonna see the kind of things that they can bring for you to really help with your compositional process. If you're struggling with your musical elements, you want to take a look at this video and you'll see some techniques that are really going to help you. I was able to put this musical idea together in about 40 minutes thanks to the script contained within Contact 5. Everything you're hearing at the moment is coming from Contact 5 with the exception of the main backbeat. That's coming from Machine. I'm just going to mute that for the moment. So all of these musical elements are coming from Contact. I'm going to take it forward. The snares that are falling in pitch, they're coming from Contact as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to backtrack and show you some of the things that I did and these are all basically the things that enabled me to put the idea together so quickly and it really felt like a fun experience you know because I wasn't having to think about the musical elements I was just using the scripts to get my parts down so I'll show you let's take a look firstly at the bass the re-trigger bass if I show you the MIDI note data you're probably going to be thinking that doesn't look like what I'm hearing and you're right because we'd be expecting to see staccato notes, very short, rapid repeats of notes on 16ths, but these are sustained notes. So let me show you inside Contact 5. This is an instrument from the library and I'm going to open it up, clicking on the wrench, and we can see here visible the script editor. This is where you can load up to five scripts. These flow from left to right and they run in series, so that means one can influence the next. I dropped in onto the third slot, the re-trigger script. Now this is running at 16th, so it's creating, for as long as I hold it down, a rapid re-trigger of the note at 16th intervals. I can change this. So we're going to 8 triplet. So the 16th is working well for me. And you know, you're thinking about scripts, you're thinking, well, why are they called scripts? Let me show you. If I open this up, you can see the code. If you're a JavaScript programmer or programming in another language, that's the kind of stuff you might be used to seeing. So that's what's going on. It's a MIDI program that's adapting the incoming MIDI data and doing something different with it when it hits the actual instrument itself. So that's a really good one. That's actually the same one that I used on the snares as well. So instead of me actually playing in rapid snare hits, these were being triggered sustained notes. So let me show you. Gonna open it up. Gonna take away the browser. And also the mixer as well, it's nice and clear now. So you can see the very same script being used here. And what I was doing there was to adjust the tuning. Can you see here on the source module, it's gone to minus three. Let me take it back again, watch here. So this is a great effect. You know, you might have heard this kind of stuff in tracks that you listen to. So I set up with a MIDI control. I'll show you how easy that is later on as well. So this is all hands-on, you know, mapping a, a physical control to that parameter. So it was real good fun to do that. And you can see that data over here. I actually moved this down onto another track. It's still assigned to the same instrument, but you can see that if we set this up over here and then just click on it again. So you can see here, we've got a slope from going high to low. So that's literally going high pitch to low pitch. So that works really well. Now you'll notice that I've also got some other automation going on here. Now, as well as the musical elements such as the re-trigger bass, we've got the morphing filter pad. So this is a really great example. Let me show you, I'll start it over here. Let's open this up. Inside contact are some morphing filter. These are very, very good. They sound very interesting. I assigned a rotary control to this. So you can see over here, the instrument control section, the sound parameter is what I used. Can you see that moving? So it's morphing through different filter types.
So now onto the ARP synth. So this one here, there's an arpeggiator included inside this. So if we click on the script editor, you can see that here. So some interesting programming here with the actual level. So you can adjust the volume of each of the steps in the sequencer. The traditional stuff's over here as well. Definitely goes beyond the realms of your usual arpeggiators. Sounds great in there. So in terms of the musicality, you know, I was literally just playing one note and you know, there are some chords in some of these. So if we open this up, I'll show you, this is another thing that the script is offering. So we go back to the script editor. You, know, you can see this stuff here. If we go down to the instrument, the chord button, and I use this and I switch to the preset. So it's a minor chord. The scripts for these are really complex. If I open this up, you can see there's a whole ton of stuff. So someone sat down and written a script that's really driving this whole front end panel. This is such an amazing concept, you know, that it's almost open ended, you know, when you invest in contact, you get so much possibility. And there are some people that are coding scripts and uploading them to the native instruments site as well. So you can see how contact can become a really quick and easy tool for composition. So to conclude, what I'm going to do is show you how easy it is to set up a physical MIDI control to one of the parameters inside contact. I'm just going to come up to this cutoff parameter. I'm going to right click, learn the MIDI CC, and I'm going to find a control on my machine here. Just going to rotate it so you can see that that's actually working now. So it's assigned and I could record that into the MIDI track. And so that's a really great way to get some hands on control very quickly and easily. So hopefully you've got an idea now of the assistance that contact can bring when you're composing. If you have contact, make sure you check out all the other scripts. There's a massive library here. Some of these are fantastic. So things to look out for performance constraint to scale. You can actually get it so that if you play some notes that are out. They're going to be put into the scale automatically for you. Lots of options here. So explore those. It's a great tool for composition. And if you're interested in finding more about contact, take a look at the brochure page on the pointblankonline.net site. We have a native instrument sound design course where we've got many, many videos focusing on contact. So we'll take a final listen to the music uninterrupted. We're going to play out with this to the end of the video. Just a little reminder, check out youtube.com slash pointblankonline. Subscribe so you can get updates to all the new tutorials. And if you're interested in any of the other courses on Point Blank, just go to pointblankonline.net.